We've got 12 on the crew. Each crew member gets a Storm Trisail aluminum canister, one hat for the, the captain, a whole bunch of info regarding the race. We've got a couple more hats, and I don't even know what that is. That's a Red Solo Cup. This is too fun. This is, this is it's gonna be too fun. Yeah, we survived. Hey, welcome everybody to the uh, 2015 version of the Storm Trisel Block Island Race Week. Uh, I was talking to commanders earlier today and they guarantee, you heard it here, they guarantee a wonderful week of racing. And so with uh, no more ado, I hereby declare the 2015 Block Island Race Week open. Good afternoon. Here we are at Block Island for the 50th anniversary, Block Island Race Week. It's been uh, since 1965 that Storm Tricer Club has been coming out here and putting on this regatta for people to come, have fun, bring their family, and get some good competitive sailing and racing in. This year we've got about 170 entries. The weather looks good. We're hoping to have a really good week of some great sailing. We've got people here from 12 states, five countries, so they've come from all over for another edition of Block Island Race Week. My brother Rick and I have owned boats together for about 25 years. Uh, we'd never consider owning a boat alone. It's a lot more fun with a partner, especially a partner who works so hard on the boat. <laughs> We've been uh, sailing Block Island Race Week with this boat since 94, and my first one was 1967. I haven't missed many. This is uh, somewhat of a family boat. My son Teddy sails with us. Rick's son Andrew sails with us. My three sons sail with me. And the grandsons will be going soon. So there are always at least four Willis's aboard. We've always had a very nice association with Paynes here, and the class has, has always come here. And so we get a, a good spot and get to line up all, all the 44s. Makes a pretty impressive sight. And of course, having the Coastal Queen along as a mothership is not a bad thing either. Now I get a wish. Wish for a good start. This is really the highlight for us. This is the, the biggest event we do, and it's the most fun. And we're really excited about it. All competitors in the White Fleet, this is your race committee. Welcome to day one of the Storm Castle Club's 2015 Rock Island Race Week. 50 years ago, in 1965, the first Storm Castle Club Buckhound race week began. You know, we're just happy to get everybody here, uh, have everybody in the starting line. Keep going. Jim, Jim has been you know, our class president for over 25 years. Every year we <laughs> elect him unanimously. <laughs> uh, but he's been a great leader. He was the first one who put together a one design class in the Newport de Bermuda race. And the fairest way to race is one design, where you're either first, second, third, or last. Mm -hmm. There's no rating business going in there. There's no uh, tweaking the rating. And with his concepts of uh, you know, having an all Corinthian crew on board, no pros, and I think it became more rewarding. The one design sail aspect where we have a program where we rotate sails so that uh, all these sails have the same amount of time on it, nobody has an advantage. So it kind of makes the expenses uh, go down a little bit. It they go nice. down a lot. One of the things that you see during the years is people building new boats end up with an advantage, and it's very expensive. And it's so nice to have a one design class out there to get people who are competitive and have it not be just the money that's winning the race. And uh, the camaraderie that goes on uh, with the crews and the captains is great. But once we get on the race course, we're all competitors.
like all the other owners and uh, crews, I you know how I spell fun is uh, W I N. <laughs> I was just gonna say who's gonna win. So well, put well, your predictions. We're not gonna predict anything because because these uh, one design races are so changeable. Every leg, I've seen people be in the front and wind up in the back. Mm -hmm. There's opportunities out there. We just have to know where they are and when to take them. When you, when you come here, it really starts to feel like a more like a club where you're active and volunteers every day. Uh, the club has so many volunteers it is in various stations, and when you, you come together at this event, it's a great testament to the club's cohesion. I guess. It's an enjoyable island, and uh, I can hope the Storm Trisail Club continues it uh, for at least another 25 years. Mm -hmm.